Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to explore factions, the pros and cons of joining one. You finally got yourself to bar level 7. Now you're ready to walk up and choose your faction. If not, you can always go grind at Armory Warehouse and just run around in a loop and the safest way to walk around would be using the grey pathway you see on the map. This is the man you speak to to choose a faction. Just remember, you would want to be satisfied with where you are in your side quests, because certain side quests are going to disappear from your tasks and you will miss out on all the rewards that come with it. Now you're trying to decide which faction should I choose. Each faction's buffs will depend on the amount of active players under that faction. So the choice is really on the individual. I personally am partial to freedom because of my experience in Stalker. So you've picked your faction. In this example we have picked duty. The quest lines are pretty much very similar. Small variation. You'll have to talk to three people then meet up with Chrome. If you're having trouble finding your way because of tons of markers around you, you can go into your tasks and click on the show map icon. It'll show you where you need to go. Once you complete Chrome's tasks, you'll be able to finally join the faction. Just remember, this is the point of no return. If you have any friends that didn't join a faction yet, you won't be able to team up with them anymore. You also, like I said, will lose a lot of quests and rewards coming with those quests. So make sure you're really sure that this is what you want and this is the time you want it. You can always quit the faction, but it's gonna cost you 200k and I don't think it's gonna bring back all those quests you lost. You don't have to complete the main quest before you join a faction, but if you do, you receive this armor and this AK, which could make things a little easier. On my duty character, I didn't finish the story quest line, so I struggled a little more to grind my way up to level 7. The duty base is above ground, and this is how it looks like. On the other hand, if you can't find the freedom base, it's because it's underground. There's a tunnel system, I'll explain a bit about it later. Now that we finished the tour guide, I would like to showcase all the different armor variations. Enjoy! As you can see statistically they are the same, it pretty much comes down to how it looks. You can always join no faction, and that's the third option in the armors that you see. Uh, I think that you do miss out on a lot of benefits if you don't join a faction, but you get your own benefits by not joining a faction. Like not being an enemy to duty and or freedom, vice versa, making your traveling and gathering a lot harder. So you can technically not join a faction and benefit from not having to fight so much.
My experience with having multiple characters is a good experience. I would really recommend because when you have multiple characters, you can claim the daily reward on multiple characters. You can then send items from one character to another, which could make difficult areas to grind a little bit easier depending on the faction you are in. Good example is Duty has access to the surface where Freedom is stuck ratting down in the tunnels. Speaking of tunnels, let me show you guys how this works. If you join Freedom, you want to use your tunnels as a fast travel method. You would want to come out of the tunnels in one place, loot a little bit and come right back in to shuffle your way into another location. Here's a short example of how that would look like. As you can see, when you're downed, don't be shy to claim surrender. People will be nice and l let you live. You can also click H in order to put your gun away to make sure that the person doesn't think you're gonna kill him. Now that this nice duty gentleman let us live, it's time to get back to the safety of the tunnels. Aside from dying, I think that went pretty well. When you're in the tunnels and you open the map, you may have noticed these one-way routes. And you may have noticed that there's one leading out of the map. This way will bring us into the Covenant side of the map. The Covenant have a very, very good armor. And the troops in there are very, very tough. Keep that in mind when you're using the tunnels.
If you find yourself in a pinch, there is a way back. It's not gonna be shown on the map per se, but it is there. You can see the one way markers on the map, but for some reason the one to go back to the freedom side is not showing. But it is there, so you just run up to the other side and jump down. I have a tip here that will save you some time. You can make presets of what you want to buy. You can also name them and save up to 9 presets. Here's me making one as an example. Once you're done setting that up, you can press T inside a base and it will open up the quick purchase menu. Now I'm going to talk about artifacts and what to do with them. Before you even do anything with artifacts, you need to charge the energy storage. Using proto artifacts and anomalous dust, you could use actual artifacts to charge it as well, but you don't want to waste that. Once you have some power going, you can overcharge your artifacts and that's how you upgrade it. There's a percentage chance of it failing or passing. You just have to keep charging it until it gets to level five. Once you get your artifact to level five, it behaves just like upgrading a weapon. If it fails, it's gonna reduce the durability of it. You can use proto artifact to repair the durability Depending on the rarity, it will repair more or less. Now, to actually use the artifact, you'll need to go into the backpack and try to build one of those artifact backpacks. Once you have one, you would right click on it, click open and equip the artifact you wish to use. Once you have the artifact in it, you just equip it like a backpack and you'll see on the side all the statistics are gonna be applied. Congratulations, you finally reached endgame. Now you have to venture out up north where the real adventures begin. So to help you guys out a little bit, I have decided that I'm gonna make four map guides starting with Yanov Outskirts. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.